This is going to be the best video you've ever watched about garlic, so you should watch it. I'm gonna to try to find the weirdest garlics out there and eat them, because there's a lot of them, apparently. Thank you to Fabulous for sponsoring a portion of today's video. So, I'm no chef, but I am a enthusiast when it comes to cooking. I love garlic. Garlic comes in so many different forms. You can get whole raw garlic, you can get powdered garlic, you can get bottled garlic, you can get pureed garlic. But you know what's weird? I didn't realize that there are so many up types of garlic. Check this out. Look at that. That is garlic. This one is wild. They're just so weird. I've never seen garlic like that in real life before. And I'm really curious to see how all these different varieties of garlic taste. I just want to know what the best type of garlic is so that you can get that the best flavor, you know? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. This is gonna be a tasty video. And I think that this type of research calls for some hands-on learning. So, let's go and find these garlics. We are on our way to see a garlic farm. We've got a bit of a journey ahead of us, but we're gonna get so much garlic and I'm very excited. So, you're coming with me. I went on my merry way to go and get some garlic. Little did I know how long that journey would be. It was a long road trip. I drove for many hours, but it was fun. So I got to the first place and then... So, um, uh, hit a little bit of a snag. Did they have garlic? No. Maybe I should have called ahead. Sabrina told me to call ahead, but I didn't. I have a backup. There is one more around here. Um, so they didn't pick up. We're gonna go there anyways, because it's not that far away from here. I found this farmer's market, and I really thought that I hit the jackpot it's with some garlic. local Ontario garlic. Garlic's in the back. She's secured. But I, in fact, did not. <sighs> Today was a little bit of a dud. I went to a farmer's market where they had bulbs of garlic, but I realized later that they're actually intended for planting so that you can grow more garlic or make it bigger. I'm determined to get some good garlic. I'm just about to call a farm to see if they're open because there was just a giant storm. You have reached Gord from James Electric. My other option is to just go to the grocery store and get imported garlic. I really want to get some like premium local garlic because Ontario grows good garlic. I've decided that I'm going to drive to the farm anyways because it's not too far. Off we go. That is quite closed. Quite closed. I think it's home time. I think it's, I think it's time we head home. So I tried my very best to get garlic from Canada. I went to three different farms at the wrong time of year because it's out of season. And so finally I decided to do some calling. Welcome to Brax, bringing you plants and bulbs direct from Holland since 1818. I ended up speaking to a farmer at a farmer's market and what he basically told me was that garlic is not coming in season anytime soon and I'll have to wait till mid to the end of July. He was just like, you have to be patient. So, that's the end of the video. I'm just kidding. So if you're watching this video in the middle of July or August, and you happen to also live in Canada, you should go get some local garlic. It'll be in season and you won't have to run around like a chicken with your head cut off. Now, I wasn't taking the best care of my body while I was on this wild goose chase for garlic, but luckily I was using this app called Fabulous to take care of my health and still keep to my good habits because sometimes it's really hard to do that when there's a million things on your plate. I like to pack a lot into my days. I like to keep my schedule pretty busy. Some days you forget to do simple things like drink water or exercise. And with Fabulous, you can choose between two approaches. The first is kind of a choose your own adventure. You get to pick what habits to build from over a list of a hundred, or you can create your own. Now, if you take the second route and follow a dedicated program, you'll be guided through a program backed by behavioral science based on your goals. And with both approaches, Fabulous is there to keep you on track with timely reminders, inspirational messages, and support circles. Fabulous will give you a gentle reminder. Stick to your habit of reading 10 pages of your book in the afternoon rather than 
getting hit in the head with a piece of garlic to tell you to do that. And with a premium membership, you can build as many habits as you want at the same time. So if you want to get started building some habits and you just need some motivation to do so and someone to keep you accountable, the first 500 people who click on the link will get 25% off a fabulous premium subscription. So thank you to Fabulous for helping me bring some structure into an otherwise chaotic set of days and helping me feel good and healthy enough to keep this girl journey going. All right, let's get back into the video. I got more voiceovers to record. So one day when I was grocery shopping and just looking for some yummy snacks to eat because I was sad about not getting garlic, I came across something very surprising. I saw some garlic and it looked really cool. It was like rich red Spanish garlic. I picked some of that up and I was about to go check out and I looked to my left and there was a bin of black garlic for sale. It was complete and utter luck. I found black garlic. Ah. Oh, howdy there, back home. And I got some goodies. Now, I would be lying to you if I said that this was the haul that I was expecting to bring you today. But you know, uh, when you try to get garlic that's out of season, this is what happens, but I did manage to get my hands on this. This is black garlic. I searched so many places to get this and I kind of want to taste it just by itself. Holy moly, it's like soft. We're gonna try it with some garlic. Dad, try this. That's so weird. It would be so cool to use this in a dessert, like with chocolate. Could you imagine? That is dark chocolate and garlic. Could be a match made in heaven or something that should never have happened. Mmm, no joke. This is actually really good. Seeing as my garlic haul wasn't exactly what I was expecting, I think I need to figure out a new plan, but I may need to call for some backup. So I grew up cooking. I started cooking when I was eight years old and garlic and onions for me were as pivotal as salt and pepper. So this is Erwin Youssef. He's a chef and someone who really knows their garlic. If you look at Italian cuisine, for example, they'll probably use half a clove of garlic for a whole pot of pasta. In the Philippines, we'll use 15 cloves for one person. Yeah. Um, so it really is important to us. We had a long chat about the beauty and versatility of this humble ingredient. And I found that there is an array of unique flavors in garlic that you can achieve through different preparations, even in one dish. So I'll start off the dish just by stir frying some garlic and then halfway through cooking, I'll add some grated garlic. So that's gonna give me the acidity and the pungency of garlic without caramelizing or cooking it down. And then right at the end, I'll use that confit garlic. That gives me all the sweetness and jamminess of the, of the garlic without adding more pungency to it. And then right before serving, I will uh, have some dehydrated crunchy garlic that I just kind of sprinkle all over, kind of like a salt. So how do different preparations of garlic change the flavor? Okay, let me break it down. Let's start with raw garlic. It's aggressive and intense and really pungent. What you're tasting is this compound called allicin, and it's that bitter flavor that gets released when garlic is crushed or cut. You feel it in your nose, you feel it in your throat. It almost comes back up because it's just so strong. That almost has a fiery, extremely pungent, almost like wasabi-like effect on your body. From its raw form, you can completely transform the flavor. With garlic from a bottle, whether minced or pureed, the natural pungency of garlic gets stripped away because it's been sitting in oil in order to preserve it. Bottled garlic has more of the sweetness. I wouldn't say sweet as dessert sweet, but it almost gets a creamy, sweetie type texture and flavor, which is quite nice. Another method that mellows the intensity of garlic is by frying it. The longer you cook it in the oil, the more mellow the flavor becomes, making it a perfect base for curries, sauces, stir fries, and so much more. Now, with something like powdered or dehydrated garlic, the flavor you get is a lot more subtle. It really has a very mild, mild flavor. And once you hydrate it with oils or you start putting it to heat, then you get some flavor. It's almost like it needs some heat to be activated. Finally, we have black garlic and confit garlic. 
Distinct in their preparations, but both give you a rich sweetness that's achieved by cooking the garlic over a low and slow heat. The results? You get really nice, beautifully soft confit garlic. You kind of squeeze it out and it's almost like a jam and it's always so delicious. It's very visual, especially when you serve it at dinner. So, I'm going to host a garlic dinner party and cook with garlic in all of its different preparations. I'm gonna to try to highlight each type of garlic in a dish. I need to come up with a menu, get my ingredients, invite people, and then set up the dinner party all before 8 p.m. tonight, which is when people should be coming. I should invite people. Hold on. We'll do like a stir fry. Um, we'll do some lemon, because it'll need some acidity. Uh, like a cucumber garlic salad. I got my list. Um, let's go grocery shopping. We got a full menu and a full kitchen, and not a lot of time. For that roasted garlic on the side, I sliced the head off, I drizzled it with some olive oil, sprinkled it with some salt, wrapped it up in some tin foil, and then threw it in the oven, 400 degrees, for about half an hour. Holy moly, it's so good. <laughs> that looks kind of gross. When people arrived, dinner was still not ready. But luckily, my friends are amazing and they're also very talented in the kitchen. I wanted something fresh, so we got some salad greens, we got some fresh local peaches, and then we grated raw garlic right on top. And it was just a fresh, spicy salad. I wanted to do a little tribute to one of my favorite movies, Chef. So for the pasta, I threw some of that garlic into some hot oil, and then we added the pasta, some fresh parsley, and a little squeeze of lemon. So simple, but so good. Then for the green beans, we did bottled minced garlic, fried that up for a little bit, threw the green beans in, and then I seasoned it with a little bit more dehydrated garlic, and I added a little bit of garlic puree because it wasn't garlicky enough. For the chicken, I started off cold chicken thighs, then I threw in some carrots, some onions, some white wine, and a whole head of garlic, and I roasted it for about half of an hour until the chicken was cooked and the sauce was all reduced. So good time to make dessert so instead everyone just had black garlic on bread. I also did a little berry salad because I wanted something on the table that didn't have garlic in it so that's what that berry salad is for. And eventually at 10 45 p.m. dinner was served. Okay, so this. It's like a smoky <laughs> garlic but yeah. sweet taste. It tastes like almost like wood. Like, oh my god. That's like, yeah. Yeah. Right? But you know, at the end of the day, maybe the real journey was the friends we made along the way. Maybe we didn't make any friends because everybody smelled like garlic and they didn't want to be friends with us anymore, but that's fine. I love garlic. That's it. Bye.